Moving on, and it's hard enough to find a needle in a haystack, but what about a beetle? Blister beetles have the potential to cause injury to horses if ingested with harvested forage. We recently spoke with Nebraska Extension entomology educator Dave Boxler to find out more about this potentially harmful pest. Well, blister beetles uh, vary in size and shape, but can be recognized by their long, narrow bodies, uh, broad heads, and antennae that are about a third of the length of their body. They range in from 9 sixteenths of an inch to about an inch and a quarter in length. Uh, blister beetles can be found in alfalfa and other crops used for forage. Uh, blister beetles will feed on plant foliage and occasionally cause some insignificant damage to soybean fields. The bodies of the blister beetles contain a chemical called cantheridin, which is a terpenoid that can cause blisters on skin tissue upon contact. Uh, horses are very susceptible to this particular chemical. All or part of the horse's digestive system can be severely irritated, leading to infections and bleeding. The minimum estimated lethal dose of cantheridin is one milligram per 2.2 pounds of body weight. And especially here in Nebraska, the three-stripe blister beetle has the most uh, cantheridin of the species that we have here in Nebraska. So the clinical signs of cantheridin poisoning may include blisters and ulcers in the mouth, uh, gastritis, colic, diarrhea, and, and bloody feces. So if cantheridin poisoning is suspected, please uh, contact your veterinarian as quickly as possible. A way to prevent or reduce the chances of uh, getting um, cantheridin poisoning requires uh, by the hay producer uh, focused scouting and good management practices. Normally blister beetles are commonly found on field borders mm -hmm. unless there are population of flowering weeds in the fields. But the flowering plants attract the beetles because they're going to be feeding on the pollen and nectar of those flowering plants. So scout your field two to three days before harvest. Also, it would be uh, wise to harvest alfalfa or other hay before flowering of alfalfa. Cutting alfalfa before 5% bloom really reduces uh, the risk of blister beetle contamination. And if sizable uh, blister beetle populations uh, are found, prolong harvest a couple of days and allow the beetles to leave the field. Some people would like to apply an insecticide to kill the beetles in the field at the time. However, uh, research uh, by Kansas State University as well as Colorado State University indicates that dead beetles will still contain a very active amount of cantheridin and they can be incorporated into the hay of, upon harvest. And all it takes is about four to six grams of dried beetles to uh, be fatal to a horse. Another uh, method of reducing or preventing the, the chance of cantheridin poisoning is uh, changing your harvesting methods. So uh, you might think about using a sickle bar mower uh, or a rotary uh, mower and not crimping the beetles or crimping the hay. So that, uh, those are uh, steps that you can uh, use to avoid this particular problem. 